السلام علیکم و رحمت اللہ و برکاتہ And this is the continuation of our e-learning uh, lecture. And we have already covered the revision on the last time I work. And this is the beginning of the third time work. And we need to start with the adjustment. That is the continuation of the trading profit and loss account adjustment. And the one we had last time is ordinary trading profit and loss account without adjustment. But this one is for adjustment that is in order to have a true and fair value of the account statement at the end of the year so that we know the overstated or understated the net profit or net loss of the business. The first one, when we are talking of the adjustment, these are the adjustments which are made on the profit and loss account and balances. The adjustment used to appear, that is after the tribalance has been given, and we have adjustment under the additional information. The first one, when we have the adjustment, the adjustment will appear twice in the account. That is, all the information we have below, the tribalance, must, we must give them the double treatment. The first treatment will appear on the profit and loss account, trading profit and loss account, and the second treatment will be transfer to the balance sheet at the end of the year. The first one we have a closing stock. Remember we have an opening stock and we have a closing stock. And the opening stock is the one. The opening stock is the one that we use to start the trading account while the closing stock will appear. That is the opening stock will be the first day of the month or first day of the year. While the closing stock will be the end of the month or end of the year this. The closing stock will appear under the additional information. That is, we deduct the closing stock from the cost of goods available for sales. Remember that before we arrive at the cost of goods available for sales, we have an opening stock plus purchases. When we have a closing uh, opening stock plus purchases, after the adjustment of the purchases, remember we have return inward and we have a uh, return outward. Only return outward will affect the purchases, but when we have the next value of purchases plus opening stock, we give us the cost of goods available for sale. We minus the closing stock from the cost of goods available for sale on trading profit and loss account. Why the second treatment we appear, we transfer the same value of the closing stock to the balance sheet, that's under the current asset. The next one we have a depreciation of asset. That is, after we might have used the asset for more than a year, and we have a certain percentage given or all, uh, allocation to the asset as a value of depreciation, either ten percent or any percentage that will be given. We calculate that percentage from the real value of the asset concerned, and whatever be the answer you have we now transfer it to the profit and loss account as part of the expenses. But the second treatment, when we are preparing the, the balance sheet under the asset side, we have the asset, that the asset concern, you let the value of depreciation given. And the second one, we have a drawing by the business owner. The drawing by the business owner, like goods we draw for personal use, Maybe the business owner is selling a provision and during the we are now in the Ramadan period. And the, the issue of the lockdown does not allow, that is, permit the businessman to have enough money in need to withdraw some of the provision from the store. And that the provision withdraw from the store, it has effect on the value of the purchases or the whole business. Therefore, the value of the goods we draw for personal use, we need to minus it from the purchases. And the second treatment, we transfer the same drawing, the value of drawing, to current, to the balance sheet, where we have the capital, less drawing. And the drawing here, we need to add it to the original drawing given, and minus from the capital, that is to know. And in the business, that is, we commence the business, that is, the capital of the business is 10,000. 
and you already consume, that is, we draw the goods for 2,000 naira for personal use, we need to remove or deduct the 2,000 from the 10,000 and we now give us the real value of the capital, which is 8,000 naira. Therefore, any drawing for personal use or the goods we draw for personal use, draw the, that is, reduce the capital value of the business. And the next one we have accrued. Here we have the income and expenses. Under the income, we have accrued or prepaid. But this time around, we have the accrued. It's either we call it accrued or owing or outstanding. Anyone may the same thing with the accrued. And uh, under the income, whenever you have accrued, accrued means that is the service you already enjoy and you are here to pay for it. That's what they mean by owing or arrears or outstanding and accrued. The, to get the true value of the expenses, let's assume you rent a shop and you agree to pay 3,600 naira per annum and you pay only 3,000 naira, still remains 600. The 600 may appear under the additional information as the rent accrued or rent uh, uh, accrued 600 naira. Therefore, this 600 naira we need to add back to the original figure of a rent given to you under the trivalence to have the real value of the rent. But here we have the accrued income. Accrued income, if the value rent receivable is 3,000 naira, and you have a rent accrued under the additional information, we need to add 600 naira to the original rent given to you. But the 600 naira here appear under the profit and loss account, and we need to transfer it to we transfer it to the balance sheet as part of the asset, as part of the asset. And here you have a prepaid, prepaid income also have the double effect. That is, when if the salary, that is, you have a rent, rent receivable is 3,600 naira, and that you receive 4,200 naira. 4,200 naira means the, you have a 4,200 naira. If you minus 3,600 naira from the 4,200 naira we give us zero, you have a, 600 naira. That is, pay 600 in naira in advance for the next year. The amount paid in advance for the next year is will be um, an income. That is, will be an asset to the businessman. That is, transfer to the balance sheet. But under the accrued, the accrued and prepaid expenses here, you will have accrued owing areas or outstanding. Accrued owing or areas outstanding, here you are paying salary of 4,000 naira. That's 4,000 naira per annum. And the, the management pay you 3,600. Still remain 400. 400 naira owing. And that 400 naira owing, we need to trade the remaining 400 naira in order to have the accurate and fair value of the expenses. Therefore, 400 naira plus 3,600 naira appear on your own net balance and we give us 4,000 naira. That's why we say the cash figure of the salary, 3,600, we had it accrued. And when you had accrued under the profit and loss account, the accrued you had here, which is 400 naira, transfer to the liability side as part of the current liability. But the prepaid expenses, the prepaid expenses is as a value of money you pay for the service you are here to enjoy. And if the rent and rate, the rent and rate is 3,600 naira, that is pay 3,600 naira per annum for a shop, and you already pay 4,200 naira. And the 4,200 naira, if you find the difference, the difference will be 600. You already pay 600 naira in advance for the next year. But you need to know the actual value of the expenses meant for this year account and ignore the next year expenses there. And if you now add the expenses for the next year to the expenses of this year, 
your net profit will be understated. That is, the body will be much on the profit for this year. That's why we need to deduct the expenses paid in advance for the next year from the current accounting expenses. The second treatment, the prepaid expenses be transferred to the current asset. That case will be an asset to the businessman. And go back to the accrued and prepaid expenses. If the accrued, the accrued and prepaid expenses, if the accrued income will be an opposite of the expenses, accrued income will transfer to the asset side, while prepaid income will be transferred to the current liability. And after this uh, adjustment, you realize that we, because of the space and time, I will not be able to do a brief uh, working. But anytime you have a question, you are giving the question on the trading profit and loss account, you have the major body of the question, which is tribalance. And after the uh, close the tribalance, you have additional information. Under the additional information, we have a closing stock. Means you must give your closing stock uh, double treatment minus it from the goods available for sale and transfer it when you are preparing the balances you transfer the same value to your current asset the depreciation of asset the value of depreciation transfer to the part of your expenses and minus the same value of the figure from the asset concern and drawing by the business owner that is the goods withdraw for personal cons consumption we affect the total purchases. That's why whatever be the value of good withdrawal for personal use minus or deducted from the purchases figure. And the second treatment, you add it to your total drawing. That is the drawing given or appear on your own net tribalance given. And then we have a accrued, accrued and a prepaid expenses. Let's take it one by one. Accrued expenses. Accrued expenses is expenses that is the service you already enjoy, but you are yet to pay for. And it's either we use accrued or owing or outstanding or arrears. The fourth hands need the same thing. We give them the same treatment. The accrued, you add it to the asset expenses concern under the profit and loss account. Trans the second treatment, the same value given to you as the accrued expenses to be transferred to the current liability. While the prepaid, the prepaid and the advance, paid in advance means the same thing, is the service you are here to enjoy, but you pay for the future charges. And the same value, minus from the original expenses, and transfer to the asset side under the current asset. But the case of the accrued, Income is an uh, opposite. Therefore, accrued expenses, you add it to the income concern and you transfer it to the liability and you transfer it to the, the asset, current asset. While prepaid income be minus from the income and transfer to the current liability. And after a brief uh, adjustment, and we now realize that we have the accrued the fair value of the net profit for the year. And the assignment will be attached to this uh, note and the as assignment will try as much as possible to attempt it and send the answer to the same uh, portal. I will be able to access to it and mark it just to test our ability for the main period before we resume. Subhanallah, Bika. Come and start our meal. Sifuna. Wassalamu alaikum.